Today we're going to cover two quick tips. Uh, one of those is how to shut off the tap light if you're not wanting it going. And the other one is how to dim these lights and these lights as well as backlight kind of the rest of the panel so that everything is lit to some level or another. And so let's take a look first of all at how do we control the tap light and maybe turn that off. So the first step is to come up here to our little sprocket and go into our setup. Come over here to preferences and then we can come down here. You can see there's auto channel select configuration and then others at the bottom. Over here we have tap key blink and we can turn that off. If it's lit, it's on, and if it's grayed out like this, that means it's off, and I can show you that. Now let's take a quick look at how do we adjust the lighting on the mixing console. So if we back up and come down here to brightness. So the first thing we're going to do is turn down the panel. Uh, that's, that's these, and, and basically when I turn these down, these are going to turn uh, up or they'll be backlit. So I'm going to highlight that one and then I'm going to turn it down. The top brightness is 20 and you can see it getting dimmer and then when I hit 10 uh, all of these kind of backlight. So now there's still a difference in brightness but all of it's backlit and uh, it just makes it easier to see especially if the lights in the auditorium are low. It kind of helps balance that out. And then I can come down here to the channel color which is this strip here and I can turn that down as well. I usually turn that down to maybe 12 or 10. And so now everything's a little more even. We still have certain things highlighted so they're easy to see, but they're always backlit so it's easier to turn those back on and find those if the overall lighting in the auditorium is, is down low.